Hi guys, so this is a little bit different today. We're just uh, in Harborne, Birmingham, a local area where we're allowed to walk, obviously, on lockdown uh, because this is our exercise. And um, I'm just doing a little bit of a church audit here because I think that's something uh, novel and something that hasn't been done as far as I'm aware. So here we're walking through the graveyard um, up uh, a nice steady incline, so you might hear me struggling for breath as I come up here. But uh, this is the one of the real original paths of the uh, church. The church in question of this graveyard is St Peter's Church in Harborne, and uh, very dear to myself, and I'll explain why shortly. But here we've got the original walkway that leads through um, the centre of a sort of, well, I would say disused, almost dilapidated graveyard. Um, I personally think it needs a real tidy up. Um, you know, they could make it into something really quite spectacular um, and, you know, in, um, involve people and bring them in. So here's a bit of the graveyard that sits nestled in a residential area on both sides well one side I suppose and then it's uh, neighboured by a local golf course as well so we're walking up here this path um, so you're walking up with me and this graveyard is uh, famous actually for holding some uh, Commonwealth war graves I guess from World War Two. And then obviously it's got all the social history of uh, Birmingham with some of the people that were notably buried here. And uh, really I'll be putting a link to the church so you can actually follow up on the website. Oh, you can hear I'm a bit out of breath. All those lockdown pies catching up with me. So as we've walked up on the left is the golf course, Harborn Golf Course. On the right is the graveyard. Now we're gonna just do a quick little recce in a moment around the church building. Oh, and as I say, you can see all the overgrown trees and the leaf foliage. Only walking up here on my daily exercise during lockdown to actually get some exercise, which is much needed as you can hear by my breathing, but also keeping active and just showing you the local area. There's a bit of fenced off ground, which I believe, may I believe, uh, belongs to the church. And on the other side, the right hand side there, is the school building. So it's got a local school building. I went panning on that because of uh, safe guarding and things. But as we walk up here, you can see I'm still walking up one of the traditional paths lined by trees to St Peter's Church in Harborne and uh, I'll continue showing you what we've got here so um, just on my daily walk on lockdown I'll explain there we've got a nice war memorial celebrating World War II and some of the flowers of remembrance we pan round and here's the church building itself now the church building st peter's harborn i'll put the link in and you can see some of the historical significance we pan round there and there's a church hall and we're just going to walk through as i say on my daily exercise moving in to get some milk bread and essentials and why is st peter's such an important part of my journey. Well, I, as some of you know, was a campanologist and as such an avid bell ringer. That's what a campanologist is. And I'm just gonna pan the church hall there. And with the website link we're gonna put in, you'll see some of the activities that go on in this church building. I'll just hand there onto the church board so you can see some of the activities that go on outside of lockdown so I was a church bell ringer and uh, I suppose I still am 
And this was one of the churches that I was involved with, bowing in a ten bell tower. Um, and as I say, this church nestled in a lovely graveyard with a church school and uh, all the facilities that that offers with the partnership of school and church. Massive mission opportunity to spread the gospel to all those individuals. And uh, you can see there the church in its uh, use. I think uh, recently a new roof has gone on or at least they had some structural work. And again, I'll pan round and I think all the foliage that could be cleared up here, all the trees and all the graves that could be marked out so much more uh, professionally to denote the historical significance and the importance of those Commonwealth graves that are so uh, critical there. From a distance, because of course I'm not going to actually film a school, obviously, for obvious reasons. Again, behind those trees you can see another part of St Peter's School um, and then the housing uh, area. So, nestled in a housing area and you've got the school link and the church. I'm going to stop the recording there for today, but I'll put the link in the uh, website feed so you can actually follow and see all the activities that go on in this place. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye.